Hello everyone! Welcome back again to our TL10 lesson video. And for today's video, our topic is about storing breads according to standard safety practices. Are you all ready? Now, let's get started. The truth is, the freshness of baked products depends on the storage condition, composition of the ingredients. When it comes to storing bread, the refrigerator is your worst enemy. Bread actually goes stale faster in the refrigerator than it does at room temperature. The best way to keep bread at its best is to keep it at room temperature for a day or two. Then wrap it up and freeze it for longer term storage. Wrap bread in plastic or aluminum foil. These types of wrappings will trap in the bread's natural moisture to keep it from drying out and getting hard. If your bread came in a paper wrapping, toss it out and wrap it in plastic or aluminum for storage. If you have sliced, processed bread, you can seal it up in its original plastic packaging. Manufacturers of this style of bread recommend leaving it in this packaging to retain the moisture. Some swear by leaving unsliced artisanal bread in the paper wrapper or even leaving it unwrapped on the counter with cut side face down. This does retain the crispiness of the bread's outer crust, but left exposed to the air. The bread will stale within a few hours. Keep bread at room temperature for no more than 2 days. Room temperature should be around 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep it away from direct sunlight in a cool and dry place, such as in your pantry or in a bread box. If you have high humidity in your house, your bread may mold quickly at room temperature. If that's the case, you might want to skip straight to freezing it after you've eaten as much as you want while it's fresh. Freeze extra bread. If you have more bread than you can consume before it goes stale within a few days, the best way to store it is by freezing. Freezing bread drops the temperature enough to stop the starch in the bread from recrystallizing and getting stale. Be sure to store it in plastic freezer bags or heavy-duty foil as lightweight household foil isn't suitable for freezing. And don't forget to label and date it to prevent it from becoming a mystery cube. Consider slicing your bread before freezing. That way, you won't have to slice it while it's frozen, and it's often difficult to slice post-towing. Don't put bread in the refrigerator. Scientific studies have shown that this draws out the moisture and the bread becomes stale three times faster than it would at room temperature. This happens from a process known as retrogradation, which means that the starch molecules crystallize and the bread gets tough. Tow frozen bread. If you have frozen your bread, allow it to tow at room temperature. Remove the freezer wrapping and let it stand. If you'd like, crisp in the oven or toaster for a few minutes, but no more than five minutes to restore the crustiness. Be aware that bread is only good for reheating once to return crustiness, after which you are simply reheating stale bread. Now, with all the things that I mentioned, let us discuss further the suggestions on the proper storage of breads. Let us have the following breads. Let's start with number one, basic muffin. How to store it? All you have to do is just to wrap in moisture-proof or vapor-proof materials covered or boxed, where it should be in the freezer. Number two, soft crusted bread and rolls. How are we going to store it? Store it in original wrapper, moisture vapor proof to prevent the bread from drying out. Now, number three, bread and rolls. How are we going to store it? Simply store at room temperature 24 degrees Celsius to 26 degrees Celsius in adequate space. Where? In a dry place above the floor, away from strong flavored foods such as fish, onion, cabbage, garlic, meats, paints, cigarettes, and smoke. Now, number four. Hand-crusted bread and rolls. How are we going to store it? Simply, just unwrapped. And where are we going to store it? Store it in freezer, wrap loosely in craft paper. But then, always remember that proper packaging is more expensive, but also safer and more helpful. So, that's it. 
Hope you've learned something for today. And before I end my lecture, let me leave you up a short verse from the Bible. It is written in James chapter 1, verse 5. It says there, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. So my dear students, keep learning, keep improving, and keep growing. I wish you a bright future ahead of you. Thank you and bye for now.